January 22. Where is wisdom? Job chapter 28 verses 12 and 28. But where can wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? And to man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. A young man got into financial difficulty by loaning a friend in another town $500. He neglected to ask his friend to sign a written note. He didn't even ask for a receipt indicating the amount loaned. When the young man needed his money back, he realized he had nothing with which to document his claim. In desperation, he turned to his father for advice. After a moment of consideration, the father said, Write him and say, You need the thousand dollars you loaned him. The young man said, You mean five hundred dollars? No, said the father. You say thousand dollars, and he will immediately write back that he owes you only five hundred dollars. Then you will have it in writing. The son followed his father's wisdom and the problem was solved. Job too was perplexed by his situation. He had been a righteous man, yet now it seemed as though his world was falling apart. He felt the need for wisdom. But where, he asked, do I find it? His heavenly father gave him the answer. It is in the fear of respect for the Lord. Only to the degree that those who seek wisdom are willing to respect God will they be motivated to apply the truths that he shares with them. If earthly fathers can give wise counsel, how much more so can our heavenly father? But to gain true benefit from the counsel, we must have reverence toward the one who gives it. Unless we respect the source, we'll never value the product. We not only need to hear, but we also must heed. If you are looking for wisdom today, the best source you'll ever find is as close to you as your Bible. God speaks clearly through his word to give you the guidance you need for your daily life. If you fear him, obey what he says and take note of the benefit of heeding his word. If you respect the Lord, you'll benefit from his wisdom. Amen.